with an FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a one-all draw with Taunton Town in the National South. Adam, your thoughts following that? Um, yeah, we th- didn't play at all well, um, but you know we, we kept going and got say a bit of an improvement that I think in previous games when we played like this we got beat four one four nil four nil Braintree Dartford Hampton and Richmond. Um, but today, you know, we just stack at it and then Greg's come out of an unbelievable header out of nowhere. Probably our only effort on target. Um, and you're just thinking, oh, maybe we can win a game scruffy and, and a scrappy one. Um, and then, yeah, the lads hit one, it's deflected off our defender and, and flew in the top corner. Um, so it wasn't to be, but elements that, you know, side that's improving that we can't um, at our best and we haven't lost um, and I think that's that's important to take from today um, you know we just can't have it all our own way it's a tough place to come they're real big physical side and um, you know you've got to be at it and we're, we're not that physical at the moment um, having a right back having a place at the back who I thought was sensational 19 year old alongside him and them two have been brilliant and then Kane Wills who's a natural centre midfielder playing as well like the left back left side and um, yeah when, when it comes to press like this you know they're going to be put under pressure and I thought they stood up to it um, really well You've absolutely nailed it there it was under a lot of pressure today but it never really felt like they were under too much danger it, it took a goal like that one the deflections for them to score today No that's it yeah I thought um, like I say Joel dealt with a lot that come in the box we done a bit of work on Thursday getting into a shape and defending the box and defending areas in the box and um, you know that's Seems like it worked for large parts of the game. Um, got to look at the goal back and see how he's got that much time on the edge of the box, and you know try and rectify that. But um, I think all in all, probably a fair result. I don't think we deserve to win. Um, they probably feel a little bit hard done by, but then when they score so late and it's a lucky goal reflection, and um, you know they're probably happy with a point as well. But um, no, yeah, it's, uh, I suppose we've got to come away a little bit. Um, pleased. Uh, we definitely took a point here last year. It would have meant us finishing in the top three. So um, you know, def- def- I can see signs of improvement. There's fight there, and um, we're defending the box a little bit better. Um, still, you know, disappointed that the consistency in some of our performances, like players that are world beaters on a Tuesday night at Farnborough, um, especially when the team goes three 0 up. Then when it's a bit of a scrap, I don't know whether we still want to get on the ball and maybe um, that's something for us to address. One positive from today, you mentioned earlier, Greg Lure getting the goal today. It's his first for the club since he's signed. How big is that for him? That's it's a real monkey off the back for a striker to get in and get a, a proper striker's goal like that as well. Ahead. No, definitely he's getting like minutes, run a game, um, run a games and I think that's going to help him. Um, but also, yeah, he just needs to get um, confident in what he's doing. Um, and how you get confident as a striker is by taking chances and scoring goals. So, yeah, I'm hoping that's going to, you know, lead to a run now for him. Um, we had Nicky Wheeler, we played with him at Woking and said it reminds him of a, a season that he had there where he didn't score for a long time, then all of a sudden went on a run of like about 14, 15 games of scoring week in, week out. So I'm hoping uh, we see something similar um, from Greg here. That would be nice. Uh, just to tone down a little bit post-match there was a little bit of an incident uh, Michael Class went getting a red card in amongst it. is there anything you could say about that and um, no just uh, obviously twice now we've come on Saturdays and got involved in a bit of a melee and you know it's not what we want to be associated with I didn't enjoy walking in there and getting booed by their their fans you know you want to be coming like it was on Tuesday getting applauded off for our performance and um you know, we've got to do our fighting, our scrapping, when the referee blows his whistle and when he finishes it, you shake hands with your opponent and um, say you enjoyed that game and then move on to the next one. And you know, it just feels like it's, football's changed a little bit now. Uh, like maybe too much ego there and, you know, it, it seems like we're doing our scrapping after the whistle goes, like when you can't do nothing about it. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, obviously... Something that I'm not not too pleased with, and um, we'll look at and just keep trying to tell the boys that you know that's not acceptable. Now Michael misses three games. Um, you know he's got competition in his place, um, number of players that can play there and, and play them well. Uh, and now you miss three games um, through something that you've got involved in. 
then you don't really need to. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll have our side of the story, they'll have their side of the story, and whether they match up or not, probably not. Um, they'll feel that their players in the right, we'll feel our players in the right, and um, but it's not, you know, I don't, can't condone it, it's, it's not what I want to be seeing at the end of the game. You have a good battle on the pitch, you shake their hands after, and you know, like I say, move on to the next game, and you know, that's the kind of mentality uh, that we want to try and create amongst the group. And we roll into Tuesday now in the Senior Cup. Little Hampton at home, back at Westside. Uh, with relief to be back home, not in the West Country. Uh, how are you feeling for that? How do you think the squad's going to be? Do you think it's going to be a little bit of change going into that? Yeah, um, I think we're going to have to. Just, you know, I don't think we've got a great deal of players that can play 90 minutes. Like Greg looks like he's, he's playing at the end there. Jess looks like he's playing at the end there. Um, Luke. Looks like he's playing a little bit, and you know, so it's a weird one. You've got to want to try and keep them fit, and that's how they get their fitness at the same time. You know, does a rest do them good? So, there's all those things to take into consideration. But ultimately, um, now Michael's going to be missing. Um, we've still got Nicky out, still got Jake out, um, Glenn's still out. Um, so, you look around now and go, there's not the, the, the big squad. and we might have to call on one or two to, to come in and change it up a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's it's going to be a case of um, you know, seeing how everybody is um, and then trying to be as competitive as we can um, on, on Tuesday. And um, yeah, we need to try and build some momentum at home now in the next few games.